Good Morning Texas Home and Wealth, sponsored by Rodney Anderson with Supreme Lending. With the cost of renting a home escalating, renters are finding it less expensive to own a home. So today we have tips to achieve your goal of home ownership. Our mortgage expert, Rodney Anderson, is here with a top 10 list for first-time home buyers. Rodney, let's start with number one, getting pre-qualified. Man, I tell people up front, Shannon, you have to not just get pre-qualified, get pre-approved or fully approved. Lenders want to know, are you for real? Sellers want to know, are you for real? But a lender needs to look at your income, your assets, your overall credit profile, because the last thing you want to do, go out and find a home, and then all of a sudden you can't get pre-approved, and you can't buy that home. We see it every single day, and especially if you're self-employed, you get commissions, your income comes from bonuses. All those can work a little bit different, so you need to make sure that a lender has looked at everything up front. Number one, get pre-qualified. Number two, target your territory. What does that mean? Know your neighborhoods that you want to buy. And, you know, if your target is the whole Metroplex, you're going to have a hard problem finding a house. But target the neighborhoods that you really want to look at. See what's going on with sales in those neighborhoods, what repairs you're going to need, everything else. Some of the neighborhoods are newer, some of the houses are older, but we're seeing a lot of home builders still doing price increases in many of these neighborhoods. So know the territory that you want to live in. Okay. This is really interesting. Prioritize your preferences. Yeah, your preferences in the homes. If you have your top one or two and they're just brand new on the market and you know that they're going to have multiple offers, look at those properties. See if you want to make an offer. Prioritize your preferences on what houses you really want and don't just settle for a house. You're making a $200,000 or $300,000 investment. Last thing you want to do is settle. And this goes right into number four, know your budget. Yeah, you have to absolutely know what your payments are going to be, how much money you're going to need. The one thing I tell people, your friends, your family, your co-workers, and I all have one thing in common. No one pays your bills, so don't overspend Mm -hmm. in today's market. Number five, be realistic, Uh okay? If if you're sitting there and you're looking at a $250,000 house, you may have to be realistic because a lot of people are out there looking at home, Shannon, and all of a sudden that home is Uh $350,000. That leads to number six, act fast. Yeah, in today's market, if somebody, if the house just hits the market and you know there's going to be 10 offers on that thing, be ready to act fast. A lot of times people will sit there and all of a sudden they'll lose the property. And absolutely. And you got to know when your closing date, how quickly you can close. Number seven, don't play price games. What is this? Everybody just thinks, I'm going to go steal this house. Right. This market is so hot, you're not just going to go steal a house. You're not going to get a $600,000 house for $400,000 or 450. Some people want to be the master negotiators Mm -hmm. and those master negotiators are sitting on the side. No low balling, but pay pay closing costs. Yeah, a lot of times we, in the past, sellers would pay closing costs, but in today's environment, most sellers will not not pay closing costs, so you have to make sure. I'll just go ahead to number nine here, except defects. Yeah, a lot of times what this basically means is on homes, if there's, you know, you'll, a lot of times it has to do with repairs and some of the things you might have to tolerate is uh, the house not being perfect, especially if it's an older home. You can home. make it yours and get educated. That's the most important thing I tell people up front. Get educated when it comes to buying a home. Get pre-approved. Work with a great lender. Make sure you can close quickly in today's environment, and that's the top ten list. All right. So if you want very important information when it comes to purchasing your first home, you want that information, go right to Rodney. Call him at 1-800-EXPRESS or log on to Rodney.